Hello, my name is Ray Roberts, former Seattle Seahawks and member of the Seattle Seahawks broadcast team. Today, we're going to go to film session powered by Microsoft Surface to take a look at the newly acquired Gabe Jack. On this first play with Gabe, the thing I want you to pay attention to is the double team between Gabe and the, the right tackle. If you roll the tape, you'll see that this is on the back side of the play. So it's important to get that lane cut off and secured for that backside cut. Gabe takes a very good, quick, short first step with his left foot to get his body in position to gain an angle leverage on the defensive tackle. And then he drives through the, the tackle's right shoulder. If you can pry the defensive tackle shoulders open, it allows Gabe to keep his shoulders square and it allows the offensive tackle to come around and take over the defensive tackle. On this second play with Gabe, you'll see that he's gonna pull to his right and he's gonna kick out the linebacker number 54 that's standing on the end of the line of scrimmage. And the key thing about this block is that Gabe was able to keep his leverage, which means he got his pads underneath the defender's pads, and he also kept his feet moving and his legs driving to create width in the hole, and the running back has a lot of room to maneuver in. And so on this play right here, Gabe is gonna pull, and then the kick out and the drive, widen that hole and make it a little bit better for the running back to get through there. One of the big reasons that Gabe was brought to Seattle is to improve the pass protection. If you look at the film, Gabe is the right guard, and number 91 for Kansas City is lined up on his inside shoulder in the A gap, which is the most threatening gap for a quarterback. Gabe did a very good job of taking a really hard jab step to his left and then adjusting to the rush back to the outside and then sitting down on the late power rush that number 91 was trying to give him. So on this play with Gabe, it's the exact opposite of the play we just reviewed. So now we have the defender lined up on his outside shoulder, what we would call a three technique or wide three technique. The thing I want you to notice on this play is that the, the defender slants really hard back to the inside. So Gabe has to set hard to the outside to protect the speed rush up the field, but then come back to the inside and shut down the inside rush. And then being able to even take away a late third move where the defender tried to play a little bit of power. But Gabe did a very good job of being athletic, being smooth, keeping a good base, keep, keeping a good knee bend, and keeping good hand placement to be able to shut this move down. All right, this is the last play that we're gonna use for Gabe. It's a one-on-one -on -one block with, uh, with Ndamukong and Sue, and it shows Gabe's ability to play with power. It shows his ability to play with leverage. It shows his ability to be athletic and to shut this rush down. When you see him take that little short hop right at the end, that hop allows you to sit your weight down. And so he gets his hands in the right place. He has his body positioned in the right place in relation to where the quarterback is. Then he's able to, to use his hands to push, to create some separation so he can push his body back and down to get leverage on the power and it stops the rush right, right away. Another episode of Film Session powered by Microsoft Surface. I'm your host, Ray Roberts. See you next time.